We're finding another route in. It's the 999 of apps really. And certainly another way of communicating with individuals that are at very high risk of forced marriage. I think it's quite good actually, it's quite interactive. If you think you need to quickly get to something, the app is very useful for that. The app is going to be really useful for young people because social media, having apps on their phone is what all young people have and Facebook, Twitter are all well and good, but actually let's have something on their phone that's going to make a difference. My favourite thing about the app, I would say, is the fact that we're able to go and make a difference by going on the How Can We Help part of the app. And it makes us feel like, you know, if, if someone else can't access the app then, and, and we can, then we actually can make a difference in someone's life and maybe in danger. I think it's very easy to use, it's very welcoming, it's not complicated, it's quite simple, straightforward, but it's also very informative. Well when you go into the app, first of all you've got Fremont our logo at the front and we've deliberately put him there because actually if a perpetrator or someone was looking through a young person's phone to see what they're downloading, it looks like a game. So no one would recognise that that's something that's to do with help and a charity. So that was one of the key things that young people and the police asked us to do at the very beginning. On the first screen, you're looking at four boxes. You've got the you, so if you're the person in immediate danger, you know what button to press. If it's for a friend, then they can go in, and for professionals. And that's got a section not only for all professionals, but a special section in there for MPs, because we know a number of members of parliament are contacted about forced marriage, and they often need to know what advice to give at the click of a button. I think it will be a really good resource for teachers, um, set out very clearly, the advice is very concise, but I think that it will also be useful for anybody working with, uh, with young people. It can appeal to like, a lot of different age groups. It's very, very quick to use and very accessible. It's much more exciting than a leaflet. We're using the app really as a last chance call. This might be the only opportunity someone has to contact someone, like the police if it's an emergency. They can contact the Foreign Office or the Freedom Helpline, as well as the Samaritans. So there's lots of boxes. It's got a location area, so it will tell you where you are, where the nearest hospital is, and where the nearest police station is to you. And it's got the signs of forced marriage on there as well and what you should do if you recognise any of those signs. A lot of people don't know the signs and they don't know who exactly is they can contact if something does happen. It's developed from the idea of the book but it's not fair by Anita. There is a list of the signs and symptoms and what to do but actually the app makes it even better because it's clearer and obviously with the modern technology this is what young people want to do. They want to use the technology and it's good to see the technology being used for such a positive reason. The Force Marriage Unit is throwing its weight behind the app because it's targeting an audience that otherwise we may not be able to access. A high proportion of the cases that contact us may be individuals who will have a smartphone or may have a friend who has a smartphone and in that sense we're able to uh, reach the needs of uh, those that are at high risk. It's a tool for every young person and every professional to have. It's a part of a toolkit that will definitely help save lives and make a huge difference.